Hello friends, welcome to the holiday dishes from all around the world. And today's video is a collaboration with the Grace Life DIY channel, Miss Anna and me, Penny, from Penny's Lifestyle channel. We got together to do some holiday dishes from all around the world. And today's dish, I am gonna show you my famous macaroni and cheese. Our two beautiful co-hosts are Creations by Simone and Living Life with Lisa Lisa. Thank you so much ladies for co-hosting with us. So let's get started with this. Now I'm just going to boil some regular water and some salt. And guys, this is two cups of macaroni. And I boiled it about 10 minutes. I didn't want to over boil my macaroni because you're going to still cook it. Now here, we're going to make a cheese sauce. You will need two teaspoons of butter and just melt gradually. Please keep the heat on low, medium. And here you will see these are my little spatulas I bought last year from Target from fall. And I'm finally using them. And just a teaspoon of flour. Gradually stir, stir, stir. Please keep the heat on medium low so that you can stir this so that it can melt together. Completely stir it to all the lumps is gone from the flour. Next, I'm going to add my can of carnation pet milk. And gradually add your cheese. Now I bought shredded cheese, but I made sure I bought the name brand cheese, the cheese that melts. Cause some of that cheese, because it have a certain texture on it, it don't melt that good. But make sure you get the good brand and not the off brand. Some things you can't buy cheap. So I bought the Velveeta cheese, the Kraft cheese, the mild cheese, and make sure that you let it melt. Get cheese that you know will melt. If you're not sure, use the block and grade the cheese. Once again, I'm not measuring this. I'm just putting half a bag of cheese. The mozzarella cheese, the Velveeta cheese, the mild cheese, the mixture cheese. You can use any type of cheese your heart desires. And just stir until melt. Now don't try to rush this so you won't burn it. Just keep it on medium, low, or low, if you have to walk away from it, and just keep stirring until the cheese melts. And as you see, my cheese do melt. Usually, friends, I'll buy the Velveeta cheese in the pack that's already melted, like a soft cheese. But honey, you can do your own melted cheese. So guys, if you need melted cheese for broccoli or for your nachos, this is the way to go. Melt that cheese, melt that cheese. So what you say, friends? Don't this cheese look yummy? Y'all tell me how this cheese look. I'm telling you, this cheese tasted good. Friends, be careful. Don't let the cheese sauce get too thick or you will have to be add some more milk. Here I am going to add just a teaspoon of sour cream into my 
noodles. They already cooled down some. And I try not to put too much sour cream. I didn't need too much. And I'm telling you, I love my macaroni cheesy. Because if you don't bring a cheesy macaroni for Thanksgiving, honey, you will get told off in my family. And they're going to say, mm -mm, don't let you cook no more macaroni. Because only certain people can cook macaroni in our family. And there are some, I'm sorry to say, they just couldn't, they couldn't do it. Because when it comes to macaroni, you got to know how to make this baby cheesy. Now, I'm sorry, guys, for some reason, my light kept going off, but that's okay. That's okay. Now, here, I'm just going to mix in the cheese sauce. And most of you probably can just stop right here with this. When you mix the cheese in but i'm going to still yet add some more cheese to this because guys i'm telling you this is going to really be a cheesy macaroni this is not keto friendly at all so sorry for the keto friendly people this is too much carbs but honey for thanksgiving holidays you got to bring that macaroni on how many y'all agree with me mm-hmm it's finger licking good now, please do not scorch that cheese or the whole dish will be ruined. Now, one thing I did do with this, I should have did a little different because I am going to kind of layer this in an eight by nine glass dish. But what I should have did was when I mixed the milk and the eggs together, and sometimes you don't have to, because my daughter, when she does this, she don't add eggs. And that's fine, but I'm going to add some milk and eggs with this. But I should have just mixed it within this batter of the bowl. And the next time I would do that, it would be so much easier. But you'll see what I did. But don't do what I did, okay? Just if you're going to add eggs and some more milk with this, after you add your eggs, just go ahead. After that's cooled down some, just go ahead and add your eggs with the milk. Just add some salt and pepper to taste to the mixture, the eggs and the milk. And here you also see, after I mix this up, that I added some smoked paprika. Yes, I did. Yes, I added some smoked paprika. I didn't put much to it, friends. I just put a little bit of smoke paprika with this because there's another cheese that i am going to layer this with and i got this out of the deli now this cheese is a little expensive you can buy it in the deli or you can buy it as they have it in a rigid wrap on the shelf in the cheese sections i believe it's in the deli also but this is the one that i bought that's that good smoke gouda if i'm saying it right cheese Honey, that cheese is yummy, yummy. So I put just a little bit of that with it also. I'm making this small dish here for this Sunday meal. But usually when I'm doing it for Thanksgiving, it's a big deep dish. One of those big, all big deep dish you buy at the store. We double the pan and it has to be a big dish because how we do it, we all bring a dish. And you have to bring a big dish to suit the whole family. So that's why I know doing one dish is just fine. So this is what I did with the mixture. But when I do this again, I'm not going to do this. What I'm going to do, I am going to just mix it in with the macaroni and be done with that. 
but I did it this way. But through it all, guys, it did still came out real good. This is the smoked Gouda cheese. I just layered it because when she cut it in the deli, she cut it too thin. But it still worked out. It still worked out. Friends, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell y'all. Please heat your oven between 375 or 400. This dish I did 375, but the bigger dish I always do 400. And definitely I layered cheese on the top. Friends, if you want to jump into this collaboration, it's opening up even for next month on November the 16th at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Please come jump in with your favorite holiday dish. Now, this is how my macaroni came out. I told y'all it was going to be good. I wish y'all could taste this. Y'all will love it. So to all those macaroni lovers, I'm telling you, you got to try this. You can always tweet the recipe to fit you. Thank you so much for watching. If y'all new, I would love for you to subscribe. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining me in this collab. Miss Anna, Miss Simone, and Miss Lisa, God bless you. Their links will be in my description box, and there will be a playlist. God bless y'all, and love y'all from Penny. Bye-bye.